Specifically in West Virginia, they they you know those those assets or are are assessed. So not only do you have to worry about you know who's inheriting these oil and gas rights, but are they paying those oil and, or those assessments on it, those taxes on it? Uh, so there's the possibility that throughout time you lose track of those, they go delinquent, and then they get sold in a tax sale. So in West Virginia, you have to worry about that and you're losing the oil and gas right, rights just throughout time, just because. Again, you know, somebody reserved them back in, let's say, 1905, you know, you, you, you're removed a couple generations for whatever reason, you know, the oil and gas industry slows down, there's no activity. You're like, oh, you know, I don't have those anymore. Uh, or, and then somebody comes across it. Oh, we do, but they got sold out. You know, then you're trying to find out, you know, what happened there, what's going on, like, how, how do we go about tracking those people down? Um, is there any way we can redeem these, and by, by I mean redeem, is you go back and you pay those back taxes on it. I mean, if you can, that's that's lucky for that family. A lot of times that doesn't happen. A lot of times you just lose them because there there are folks that are keeping track of that stuff. Um, you know, essentially just picking off interest here and there. Hmm.